the question is when we do encounter uh, such situations where people do uh, throw remarks at us, can we say that? How do we handle? Do we fight to justify what the truth is or do we ignore and carry on our duties? Uh, if there is no thumb rule and say this is how you should do. Problem is if I were to say so and if you were to follow, you will blindly keep implementing it. So there's no, this thing is right to do all the time. There's nothing like that. Sometimes you may have to stand up and justify your stance. Sometimes you have to ignore it. But what you have to continue to do is do your part. Whatever you believe is right, whatever you are true to yourself, carry on doing it. You may not be understood today, but someday you will be understood. But you're not doing it for their sake. You're doing it for the conviction you believe is right. Sir, I am convinced this is the right thing, sir. You have no control over the reputation what people carry, sir. You have no control. So even if you were to try to justify an apparent misconception or a, a wrong perception, is ultimately up to them to take it or not. However, whether favorable or unfavorable, you have to be strong to be independent of it. You have to be strong. That is the, uh, you have to be, as I said, the term self-sufficiency. Self-sufficiency means you are depending on your own self. Every adharam ledu. Na personality, na adharam. Means I am standing on my own legs and tangada. I am by my own strength. I don't need to get strength from you. So a spiritual person has that strength. He is independent of the world. Independent. You are on your own. You have that. And where does strength come from? From that spiritual unfoldment. When you are weak, sir, just take the example, even in the animal kingdom, have you ever seen a tiger fearful of being alone in the jungle at night? A tiger just takes a stroll in the midnight, the thick jungle. It just takes a walk. Fearless. The whole jungle is trembling. Even the crickets, they stop, you know? The crickets, all the insects which starts, which are very active, the moment they, they sense through the vibration of that movement of the animal, they instantly keep quiet. Everything is alert. They are at a carnivore, self-sufficient. But have you ever seen a single deer, even midday, you will never see a single deer You'll never see a single buffalo. You'll never see a single zebra. You'll never see a single elephant. You'll never see a single wildebeest. The weak get strength in numbers. The strong are loners. Have you ever seen 25 whales fighting, uh, chasing? Only single whale is there. A single shark is there. But you'll find 20 penguins together. 20 dolphins together. They grow as a they go as a as a group, but you never find 10 sharks going together. One shark alone, it, the whole sea is alert. You only see a lone eagle flying, but you will find 25 pigeons together, 30 sparrows, sparrows, sparrows together. It is applicable in all kingdoms. Where you have that strength, you are a loner. So when you you have to, when you are strong, you are independent. That doesn't mean you are not happy when the world praises you, but you are not dependent on that praise. 
you are not dejected when the world flings a remark at you chalta hai but you will be able to differentiate between praise and censure i don't like that when somebody does something you may not like it you have to say i don't like it but carry on with your life as if nothing has happened you have to say yeah i don't like that not that i mind i don't mind anything you do i am not like a doormat you can do what you want wipe your wet feet dry feet dirty feet on me and go no i am not like that i will i will notice what your actions are but it will not allow to affect my personality if i every every action that affects me then i am a miserable person you should be able to see the difference of what the world is yet remain stable so you remember if you are if you are dependent on anything it's a sign of weakness so you must develop that strength where you're not dependent on what people say let them say what they want to say see that kind of a uh, uh, a strength you must come you can say what you want to say like they are saying men may come men may go i go on forever brook isn't it you may come you may go my journey doesn't depend on your coming or not i will go on <laughs> but the accent while i was answering was not dependent on it see uh, if you have a, a feedback for me i should be ready to receive it we are not being uh, shut doors and say no i am right you are wrong it's not that that was not the uh, the image i clarified in the answer the answer was only talking about mentally whether people praise you or censure you be independent don't be affected by it somebody criticizes you you shouldn't go into a shell somebody praises you you shouldn't be jumping on the stage i'm doing tandava on the stage why people have talked nice about me are what's wrong with this fellow today almost dhoti is falling off i don't realize tandava i'm doing ha ah, they talk so nice about me i'm doing tandava ha ah? next week yaar varamaatanga enna nadakkuradhu some kooku this fellow ha ah? a few more people is dancing few less people is frowning eh enna id ah come on it's not be like that that was the point i was trying to say there is a saying of a of a great chinese philosopher all his life he was only known for this one phrase he uttered many people went up to him many people said many things to him they went up to him and said oh man you are such a great philosopher you are such a great man you are you are doing so much good only thing he said to them was is that so many years later people started accusing him of wrong doings almost they went to throw him out of the place he only said is that so it's all it's all your creation i have got nothing to do with it is that so so if you have that is that so attitude kalidasa used to say same thing in a, in a different way used to say tatakim so what no big deal about anything tatakim so it just diffuses everything so what 